All right, we're back in Eclipse. I've got Eclipse set up the same way that we left it at the end of our last practice video, the one for 6B and 6C. But I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I had a GUI driver and a sample frame. I'm going to get rid of uh, everything in the sample frame and build it up from scratch again. I've just got my sample frame extends J frame and my constructor that takes a title. So let's put the, the code in again, get a little bit more practice. And this time we're going to make the button do something. So I do set title to whatever gets passed in as the title. Then I give myself a container for the content pane. So that equals get content pane. And I'm going to make that content pane have a flow layout so I can put more than one component in it. Content pane dot set layout. Um, new flow layout. Uh, then let's create a J button. I'm going to do J button. Um, let, instead of calling it a panic button this time, let's just call it button one and then button one equals new J button press me. Now I'm going to add this to the content pane. So I do content pane dot add button one and then put in our normal setting of the size and setting us visible. Set size, so oh, 300 by 150. Set visible, true. And let's run this and see what happens. I run it, I've got my title up here, a button. This button says press me, but it doesn't do anything when I press it. Let's fix that right now. Now, to do that, I have to create myself an action listener. And I'm going to put the action listener in between the brace that closes the constructor and the brace that closes the class sample frame. So I'm going to create myself here. Um, I will call this class my listener. And it's going to be implementing the action listener interface. So I do my class or class my listener implements action listener. Open a brace, close a brace. So this entire class is contained in the other one. Now it says I need to import the action listener so I will do that. Now I put in one method. That method well, let's let Eclipse tell us about it. It says, look, this has to implement the inherited abstract method action performed. So I'm going to click on add unimplemented method. So it gives me public void action performed. Action event, I'm just going to call that E. And right here is where I do whatever I want to have happen inside this action listener. So what do we want it to do? Um, let's, when you press the button, let's change our background from uh, whatever it is to yellow. So I'm going to check, is this listener being called because button one was pushed? So I do if, um, let's see, E dot get source equals button one. If that's true, then I'm going to put in put in my code here for what the button does. Now notice Eclipse is complaining. It says, I don't know what button one is. I created a button one here, and its scope, it's only visible inside those braces. But if I take this, 
and move it here. I have J button, button 1, be something that's visible for the entire class sample frame, including in this constructor and in the subclass. Now button 1 can be seen. So let's uh, come up with an action. Let's change the background color of the button to yellow. So remember we did that by taking the component button one dot set background and passing in the color. I'll do color dot yellow. That should be something very visible to us. That's all I want to do when the button is pressed. I could make this be as long and complicated as I want, but all I want to do is change the color. Now what will happen if I run this? Take a look. I've got my button, I press it, and nothing was different. What happened? How come nothing happened? Well, we didn't make any mistakes down here, I think. But we never told the button, hey, button, when you're pressed, by the way, go to this method in this class. Remember, we have to register our listener. So what do I have to do here? I've got to create something called... Um, See my listener, that's the name of the class here, and I'll give it a name of my listener. Following the normal Java convention, the classes start with a capital letter, everything else starts with a lower lowercase letter. So my listener equals a new my listener. Doesn't take any parameters. And then I am going to do button one dot add action listener passing it in my listener so what have we done here we've said create myself a variable called my listener what is that variable it's an instance of this class that we already created then button one is going to add an action listener with that class. It will now get handed any events from that button. Let's run it and see what happens. Looks the same, but I press the button and the button changed to yellow. Now, that doesn't look terribly useful because every time I press it, it changes to yellow and it was already yellow. How can I get it to do something more interesting like um, change from yellow to green and back again? Well, let's go down to my action listener, and in here, um, let's create a, a variable. Let's do uh, private boolean is yellow, and initialize that to false. The button starts out not being yellow. And let's change what happens in here. Instead of always setting it to yellow, let's say if it is yellow, if that boolean is true, then I'm going to set the background, button one dot set background to color green, else, okay, and once I set it to green, I'm going to now say is yellow is false and else I'm going to set the background to yellow. If it wasn't yellow I'll set it to yellow and I'll change the variable is yellow to be true. Now let's see what happens. Run it. Push the button once it's yellow. Push the button another time it's green. Now it's yellow, now it's green. Now it's yellow, now it's green. Boy, that's fun. I could press that all day. Now let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's add another component. Let's add um, a label along with the button. And that label is going to uh, just contain the text X. So I will give myself a variable called label1. That's of type J label. Notice I'm putting it up here so that it will be visible in my listener 
as well as in my constructor. Then I've got to actually create the button and add it to the content pane, not the button, the label. So I'm going to do label1 equals new J label uh, that just starts out with the text X and do content pane dot add label one. All right. Now, if I run this, I've got press me and then I've got this label X over here. Notice the press me is changing colors. Nothing's changing with the X. Let's do something to the X when we press the button. So, in addition to changing the color to yellow or green, let's find out what the text field label 1 has in it. I'm going to do string s equals label 1 dot get text. Now, that'll have the value x in it at the moment. Now I'm going to do s equals s plus another x. And then I'm going to do label 1 dot set text to s. So what should happen? Every time I press the button, one more x should get added on, in addition to the button changing colors. So let's see if that happens. Save it, run, starts out with an X, changes to yellow, I've got two X's, changes to green, three X's, four, five, and so on. So in an action listener for a button, I can impact other components if I wanted. We can make this be as creative or as complicated or as simple as we need to make our window do what we want. So happy programming.